have been cyberbullied and um, the experience led to me hating myself. No, I've never been cyberbullied and bullying was never a huge problem for me. But what I know is that people that are being bullied, they feel discouraged and they cannot ignore the situation they're in and they may get bothered by what others say and they may feel frustrated at, at, um, at a certain point. Um, they get bad ideas as harming themselves or thinking about suicide. And they, I think that it wouldn't be a good sensation. Like, it, it wouldn't be a good feeling. My friend was bullied and I told her to stick with it for a little bit and try to overcome it, but if she could tell her parents or any trustworthy adult. Uh, my friend has and well, I just told her that the person is just a face behind a screen and that they probably wouldn't tell you anything in person either way. Um, yes, I actually have been cyberbullied. It was my best friend who was cyberbullied. To help her, I deleted her social media so she would have no reason to go back and try to look at it. I think a friend because I wouldn't want to get in trouble with my parents because of having social media accounts. So that would be like my closest thing to rely on. Any teacher, parent, friends, or adults that could help me overcome or other victims of cyberbullying? If I was being bullied, I would be more comfortable going with my parents or talk to a trusted adult such as a teacher or a close friend. Um, but before they talk to someone, they should not respond to any messages, no matter how hurtful or untrue they may be. My advice, honestly, to a person that has been cyberbullied bullied is to ignore it because if they really wanted to say these things to you, or if they really meant these things, they would say it to you and not hide behind a fake identity or a fake account. I would probably tell them that not to be scared of asking for help because I know that some people don't really ask for help and they let others affect them. Don't pay mind to it because at the end of the day, they're just a blob of numbers on a screen just saying rude things because they have nothing better to do. Um, I think it's a safe place with certain precautions. What do you mean by that? That, um, well, it's safe if it's being monitored by a parent, for example, for a kid. There are definitely safe and educational things on the internet, but there are also a lot of things that don't have, that are accessible, and so you just have to be monitoring what you know. No. I don't think the internet is a safe place because people can go online, hack into your accounts, or send different messages, and you don't know where the message comes from. I think it can be a safe place if kiddos like y'all and um, like the ones that are coming up after you take caution with it and use it appropriately. What I know about cyberbullying is when I won't say just young adults, but when people go online and they send nasty messages or they may go put Instagram or put a bad video on somebody that was not supposed to be released. I have heard of cyberbullying and um, I think what's dangerous about cyberbullying versus regular bullying, which has been around since the beginning of time, is that people can hide behind a profile in cyberbullying and so people can um, I've heard about cyberbullying. Um, I've uh, witnessed cyberbullying. Um, uh, I know that it can be hurtful. It's called it's called some to um, end their own lives, and so I think it's an issue that does need to be addressed. What advice would you give to someone who has been or is a victim of cyberbullying? That um, it may seem at the time like. It's terrible and horrible, um, but there is a positive side of any type of negative. I would tell them that anybody who cyber bullies, um, that they are a weak, that they're a weak-minded person, and so cyberbullying is a reflection of who you are. And if you're bullying somebody online behind a keyboard, 
it shows that you are actually the weaker person. So if, some, if, you, if you are a victim of cyberbullying, know that that person has something that, that they are dealing with themselves that needs to be addressed and it's not you. The advice I would give is that they should tell someone in authority, tell a parent or tell, especially if it's coming from school, the school officials, to let them know that they're a victim of cyberbullying because it does have mental effects on them. I was very, very upset and worried and scared. So I think it's just very important to um, just be very aware of what is going on in your well, I didn't feel good about it when my granddaughter was cyberbullying, and I just recommend that she talk to the school officials and let the school officials know, or maybe if it's a parent, you know, to find out exactly who is doing it. I would be sad and hurt, um, but I would also feel like it's very important that I show her or any child that it is something that you can come out of. Um, being more knowledgeable about how to treat others as well as knowledgeable about how to stand up for others.